five of the most hated updates ever introduced into Adopt Me. Adopt Me releases updates basically every single week at this point. However, not always do they go down well. Today we're discussing five of the updates that have got many players angry. But first, leave this video a thumbs up and you could go and win a ride potion for free. So the question is, what makes an update in Adopt Me go wrong? It could be one of many things. So we're going to see if there is a pattern into why some of these updates were Adopt Me's most hated updates. Starting off with one of the first ever updates that Adopt Me did that was disliked. Adopt Me has been around for a long time. So we're going to go and check out some posts created by the co-founder of Adopt Me called Beethink. Beethink is one of two of the co-founders of the Adopt Me game. So let's see what he has to say in regards to one of his updates being very strongly hated. He says, hey guys, I know you're all really upset that the ice cream truck is Robux. After careful consideration, we decided that it would be best not to put it in the gifts. This one is one that I can actually agree with. Going and making something cost Robux doesn't always go down well with the community, which is hence why everyone was really upset. But if he was to go and put this in the gifts, what he is saying makes sense. It would go and devalue the lemonade stand and the barbecue stand, which would upset the current owners and potentially damage the economy. If you don't know what any of those items are, it's a way that you can go and sell items in game to go and generate bucks by going and selling things. So if I like, I could go and get one out right now and set up a stand which sells lemonade. So if they were to go and release something where you could go and do the same thing without spending Robux, what they were saying was basically the value of this item would just basically become invisible and would annoy the community. So this is the first thing that people have hated on because it costs Robux and people clearly don't like spending Robux, okay? That is one thing to keep note of because lots of people, they don't have Robux. They're playing Roblox because it's a free video game. You don't have to spend money on it to have fun. I mean, you can literally play Adopt Me without spending any Robux at all and still come out with tons of legendary pets that would probably cost you Robux even if you didn't go and spend it. But of course, spending a little bit of Robux here and there does slightly benefit. Um, so you can go and buy the amazing new cookie cutter merchandise. Wow, would you look at that? You can dress just like a giant cookie. How cool. Oh, and if you do buy Robux, use star code CANDY, C-A-N-D-Y, when buying Robux. So apparently they originally planned to go and give this away in the gifts and the community wasn't happy that they could go and not get it from the gifts, which kind of makes sense. If you're told that you can get it and then you're not told it, you'd probably be upset, but I understand why they did this one. So that is why this was number five and these updates, they're going to keep getting worse, guys. They will. Update number four, which was uh, very strongly hated. And you might notice that, hey, look, that this this is a new update. This is this is something new. Quite a lot of these are new, which is which seem to be following a theme. And Adopt Me doesn't seem that they've learned, which is slightly slightly funny. So this one is in regards to the eco themed house. And I'm sure you guys are all aware what the eco-themed house is. And if you're not, then you're in for a treat. So basically, this video right here shows off some of the pet accessories that you could have gone and got which are eco-themed. So these are all of the ones that came out recently. And they said to match our new accessories, we added a new premium house. Of course they did. Premium also uh, meaning Robux. That is what... Um, Adopt Me means when they say the word premium, it means Robux. So let's see what they say to match the new accessories. Oh guys, it only costs 2200 Robux. 2200 Robux for a house. That is insane. 2250. That is a very significant amount of Robux that they have tried to go and get from people. Traditionally, uh, I people don't spend that much money on a game pass. I've I've never seen someone spend that much money on a game pass apart from a game like Pet Simulator, which surprisingly people spend millions on, which is a whole other story. But that is around $25 for a virtual house. 
Obviously, people were not too happy about it because there's never been something in Adopt Me that has cost that high. We've had things such as Shadow Dragons and Frost Dragons coming in at a cost of 1,000 Robux. So why should we go and spend double that to go and get one thing? Obviously, people weren't happy and you can clearly see why. And if you actually go and check out the replies, you will see that everyone thinks they're getting ripped off. Which you know what? I kind of agree. So people are saying 2,500 for a house, that's crazy, you're gonna get ripped off. Then people are saying that you should appreciate the team's hard work, which yes, we do appreciate the work, but the fact that they wanna charge that much money is, um, is crazy, okay? They said the house is 2,250 Robux. Are you crazy? Everything with Robux, that's not fair. You want to know what better things you could go and do with 2250 Robux? Well, you could buy 150 of my cookie goggles, which stay on your avatar forever. 150 of them. That's how cheap this is. So, thankfully, a couple days later, Adopt Me actually realized that $25 for the house was very expensive. So they somehow came to the conclusion that 850 Robux is now the new price that they're going for. How did we go from $25 to $8? I'm not complaining, that is a very drastic change, reducing it by a very significant amount, nearly like one third um, cheap, like the price, which is insane. I'm glad they did make it cheaper. Some people are still annoyed with the 850 Robux price point which resulted in everyone going and being excited, saying that they made the whole community happier, which obviously they did. They realized that people are gonna save a bunch of money, but the only thing that means for Adopt Me is that they're getting less money. The thing is, I'm pretty sure the Adopt Me company is making a very significant amount of money, so even charging 2250 isn't gonna make much. I'm pretty sure Adopt Me is a very popular company making a lot of money, so it's not like they needed to charge that much. Plus, by going and making something cheaper, it means more people will be able to afford it, and in the long run, more people will purchase it, meaning that it would actually be more beneficial for the company making something cheaper where more people buy it, compared to making something expensive where only a few limited people would get it. Let's now go and check out the next failed Adopt Me update that people are very annoyed at. Up next is the Adopt Me Halloween update for 2021. Wow, would you look at that? There is a big theme going on that all of these hated updates seem to have been very recently, which is slightly worrying that Adopt Me clearly hasn't picked up on the fact that overcharging people for Robux is something that the community gets very annoyed at. So, this, this is a nice little video explaining how you can go and get the mummy cats. Very cool, everyone likes the mummy cats. Then they said, yeah, you can buy the ghost dragon. You know, the pet that barely anyone bought, but it's a cool pet. It's a cool pet. For 1250 Robux, 1250. The issue here is, every single time Adopt Me's gone and released a dragon, it's always been a thousand, okay? So, Shadow Dragon. 1,000 Frost Dragon, 1,000 Frost Fury, 1,000 Robux. By going and charging an extra 250 Robux per pet significantly made every single person annoyed. It just kind of also ruined the theme of the dragon pricing. Like, why would this one be significantly more money than every other single one? It was very confusing to why they have gone and done so, and obviously no one was impressed about the fact it was so expensive. To the point where people were all saying that they can't afford it, and even if it was 800, then maybe they could. Thankfully, Adopt Me listened and actually went to go and lower the price of this pet. Meaning to go and get a Neon, it will only cost you 4,000 compared to 5,000 if they kept it at the original price. That is the difference of $10 of making a Neon, which is actually a significant amount to me. I saved myself $10, which I am quite happy about. Overall, this is a very strange pet, which I don't really see going and gaining that much rarity until probably 10 years. 
but it's a pretty cool looking design other than the less, but it doesn't really look like a dragon, but I guess that makes sense because it's meant to be a ghost. So, so far what we have learned is that Adopt Me likes to go and release pets and things and then go and change the price after realizing that no one will buy it at that price. Which perfectly leads us on to Adopt Me's Christmas update of this year, where they experimented with the gingerbread currency economy, where the pets will seem a lot more expensive, but supposedly we will get more gingerbread rewards from playing the mini game. Did we get more mini games and more gingerbread from it? I'm pretty sure we didn't. We'd have to go and ice skate around the map 240 times to go and earn the significant amount to go and afford one ultra rare pet. That's right, one ultra rare for around 40 hours worth of work of skating around the Adopt Me map, patiently waiting for it to go and replenish and basically spending 24 hours of a day going and playing the game. How lovely is that to get an ultra rare? Yes, it makes sense for those people who want to grind out the game and people were annoyed at the prices. As always, people are always going to be annoyed at the fact that this is very expensive. And you know what? They kind of have the right to. Everyone's allowed to think what they want. Obviously, it's great Adopt Me's giving this away for free and you don't have to spend Robux for everything in this update. But the amount of hours that people have to put in is just merely impossible for many, which is why many people were upset. So people complained and Adopt Me responded by finally lowering the prices. You wanna know what they did? They lowered them by like 1,500. They lowered a husky by either like 1,500 or 15,000. Something ridiculously small and slightly insignificant that they didn't like change anything else apart from the walrus. So they didn't change the price of the puffin, which everyone was sad about. Instead, they change everything else, which people didn't really care about, which is, which is such a weird idea. Like, hey, everyone's mad at this. So, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna fix the other stuff that you're not so mad at maybe, you know? Their whole like candy current, the whole currency thing this year doesn't really make much sense which is, leads me on to the next thing. They recently went and did a new update for the Christmas update part two. Yeah, oh, we're all excited a new Christmas update where we can go and spend another 45,000 gingerbread on a brand new vehicle. You know what, that sounds good. Look, a new vehicle, I wonder what it will be. Well, guess what guys, this brand new vehicle is actually a legendary. What? This new vehicle, is a legendary and it's 4,500 gingerbread, 45,000, okay? So for 45,000, we can buy a flying vehicle, which is legendary, but guess what guys? For double the price and an extra 10,000, you can buy an ultra rare. Yeah, what would you choose? An ultra rare for double the price or a legendary flying one, which is half, less than half price. It is such a strange concept to me that they are charging double the money for it. Um, I, I just don't understand. Yes, it's a cool, uh, this is very, very cool. Um, this, this is a cool thing. Click the sleigh for a trick. I, I don't know how you do that. Oh, tricks. Okay. Whoa, what is, what is this? Idle. Okay, so th this is really awesome. You can do tricks on it. Can we do that on any other vehicle? I don't think so. All right, that's that's actually pretty neat. I didn't know we could do tricks. Um, I do like that feature. That is that is nice to see. But can we do that on the thing which costs double the money? This lovely, lovely festive truck that I've seen no one talk about. <laughs> I don't think so. This costs double the money, guys, and it's only an ultra rare. I just wanted to point that out. Why did they make an ultra rare double the price? Like. That just doesn't significantly make sense in any possible way. In regards to rarity and the point of the currency, why would they make something that like that? It's just confusing. So obviously, again, that is number one 
for the most hated Adopt Me update. Everyone's annoyed at it. Everyone's complaining. They're saying that either want a refund or they want Adopt Me to change the rarity of this to an ultra to a legendary. They definitely need to change it to a legendary. They don't really have much choice. Um, well, I mean, they do have a choice. They'll probably they they could just keep it how it is and face the um, the people who are all annoyed at it, which probably they might do. I can't imagine them changing again. They've done so many changes already, but there is a sign of hope that they could do so. So out of all of these things that Adopt Me has ever done as an update, what have you hated the most? Or what have you liked the most? Yeah, let me know what you've liked the most. The, the most liked update, and we'll make a video talking about the most liked updates next. To go and uh, share some love to Adopt Me. I know we've been making lots of videos saying about what Adopt Me hates, but um, it seems Adopt Me's not been listening well. <laughs> but at least there are some benefits to this. By making these videos, it has raised awareness and resulted in these pets coming cheaper. And we're not doing that just because um, we, we, we're cheap. It's because... It just doesn't make sense. So yeah, use Star Code Candy if you buy Robux, follow my Robux profile, and I'll see you guys next time.